friends, welcome back to Mimi's Next Bag. I haven't been on the camera for several projects, and after that amount of times, I just feel like I need to show my face so that we can make the connection and you can see me say that I appreciate you stopping back by. And if this is your first video, I want you to know I'm normally a craft channel, but the last day or two of every month, I like to collect my favorite thrifted finds and show you the great bargains I found. I, I didn't go very much this month, but I found some great things. I took my husband to the outlet, the Goodwill Outlet bin store for the first time. They couldn't believe the way people run and snatch and grab for that stuff, but I found an incredible thing and I can't wait to show you. I did go to my regular Goodwill store a couple times, but I've said just about every month they out price themselves so much that I find the best bargains in the in the outlet bins because the store is ridiculous. I did go to an estate sale one Friday morning and with the grandkids and so I found some great little things there. So let me show you what I found. All right, I've got my table here divided into three little sections. This first section right here, this little pile here, I paid seven dollars for all of it at the outlet bin store. I found this brand new from Target, this like gingerbread cardboard centerpiece little village thing. My granddaughter and I will have so much fun this Christmas putting that together. Maybe paid a dollar if that. Found this little stuffed turkey. This will be cute. I'm going to stick that in my little Thanksgiving decor bin and I'll find some little place to put him in November. I found this little vinyl wording enter his guest and leave his friends or something like that. These are from Hobby Lobby, originally $20, maybe on coupon you could have got it for less than $15, but you'll see this here in a couple weeks when I do some thrift makeovers. I found this little package of gold ornaments. I can feel vase fillers and things like that. It's just good to have a collection of those plastic ornaments. I got my granddaughter a big gallon bag of beads. She'll love that. Couple spools, one of some tulips and some just some silvery. I never pass up spools of wired ribbon. I always can put those in my stash. I thought these were kind of fun. These are some of those portion control containers, brand new in the package. That'll be great when I take my lunch to school and stuff like that. Little interruption there. My husband on the four-wheeler and the dogs are barking. I found this little sphere thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it gold or spray paint it. You know, gold is coming back like crazy. And I just thought this was a neat little decor piece to put on a tray of some sort. We'll see. But I thought that was really cool. And here is my prize item I found. Matter of fact, this is the second Ray Dunn dog bowl I have found. I've got one just like it. On, I think it says slurp or something. I got that in our big camper. But That's what I don't understand that the Goodwill prices are ridiculous, but then you find this in the outlet bin for a dollar, perfect condition. They could have got 10 bucks for it in the store and it's our, it's still at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for 20. So I don't know if they've got some crazy pricing and whoever divvy stuff up. But anyway, the next few things were from the regular Goodwill store. This was just a Dollar Tree little tote bag, but I thought it was so cute. The little graphic on it says Busy Bee. I could put my crochet in it. I'm always taking something somewhere. So just a little tote bag. I paid 99 cents for it, so it wasn't a bargain, but I've never seen this in my Dollar Tree and just thought the graphic was cute. Got the Star Garland. I don't know if I'll keep it as garland or take them apart and do some kind of patriotic craft, but I loved it for 99 cents and I'll have some fun stars to craft with. This right, the next thing was this big cupcake holder and just couldn't pass this up for $5 because I needed a new cupcake carrier. On a Sunday, I found this new tripod for half price. It was $2.50. That was totally worth it with adjustable legs. All right, and the last thing was a estate sale I went to on a Friday morning. I think I spent $8 and I got this big bag of stamps and stickers for two dollars i got this little paper pad of cardstock for 50 cents and you some of you that are that are cross stitchers or knitters and things know what this is the little cord goes around your neck it lays on your chest and it's a huge magnifier and it's great if you do needlework i've just had to give up cross stitch and things like that because i just can't see it but this is great if you need a third hand to help you see needlework. Got a brand new package of house slippers for three dollars. 
I couldn't have bought these slippers for what I paid for all of this. These, this brand is about $13. And like I said, I didn't spend but eight. I found this little measuring cup thing. And what it actually is with the spout being down here at the bottom, when you pour grease into it, it will actually, the grease will rise to the center and your broth or whatever you're kneading will be down here at the bottom. So it's like a grease separator is what I call it. There's an actual name for it, but 50 cents. And the last but not least was this cute little trio of rabbits that originally was from Dollar General, but this will be cute in a flower pot or in my flower bed, somewhere like that. So there you go, friends. Those are my February thrifted finds. I hope you'll go thrifting and find some bargains yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week with something fun to share. Bye-bye.